One thing I always like to ask parents each visit, you'll get tired of hearing about this, but one is, are you using the car seat every single time you get in the car? Yes, we are. Okay. While infants can sleep just fine in drawers or laundry baskets, and a sink or roasting pan makes a perfectly good tub, there is no substitute for a crash-tested, federally approved, state-of-the-art car safety seat. Automobile accidents are the number one cause of death for children in the United States. Parents can change that statistic by securing every child under age 12 in appropriate car safety restraints. Even if you don't own a car, but you occasionally use a taxi or friend's cars, your baby needs a car seat. Besides, it is the law in every state. The majority of car accidents occur at low speeds, within a few miles of home. So whether you are going across country or around the block, always, always fasten your baby securely in her car seat. Car seats only okay. work if they are properly the secured. Do you know how to do it? Because the other car is different. Uh, yeah. the seat belts are different. No, I can do it. When you install your car seat for the first time and every time afterward, be sure to follow exactly the instructions for installing your particular car seat. That's why I have you here. Belts and tethers should lie flat with no give. Good. To fully protect their heads in the event of a crash, Infants must ride in the rear-facing position in the back seat, ideally in the center spot. Never place your infant in front of an airbag. If your vehicle has side airbags, check with the manufacturer about recommendations for infant safety. Your baby is safe only if you are, too. So always use your own seatbelt and make sure everyone else in the car does, too. That way, your baby will learn to buckle up automatically as she grows up. It may be possible to rent a car seat at very low cost from a community loan program in your area. These are frequently run by Red Cross chapters, hospitals, or WIC clinics.